Have you ever had to do something you knew was important, but it just seemed like the obstacles were too big? Like when the other team is beating you the whole first half of a game, but you have to come back in the second half and give it your all? Uh, sort of. The book of Acts in the Bible has a great real life example. It's about a man named Saul. Oh, yeah. Don't you mean Paul? It's both! Sometimes he was called Saul, and sometimes he was called Paul. At first, he was not on the same team as Jesus and his followers. But Jesus transformed Paul's mind. Jesus made Saul blind. Oh, my eyes! And basically told him he wasn't playing by the rules. You're out! After three days, Jesus sent one of his followers to go pray for Saul's eyes to be healed. This icky fish scaly stuff Ew. fell off of Saul's eyes and he could see again. Saul, AKA Paul, went out and became one of Jesus' greatest missionaries. He told everyone he met that Jesus is the Messiah. The Messiah. So fast forward a few years. <laughs> Paul is now one of the team leaders in the church of Antioch, which was in Syria. One day, while all the teachers and prophets were praying, they got a message from the Holy Spirit. Oh, I know this. The Holy Spirit is... Um... Uh... The Holy Spirit is the presence of God with Jesus' followers! See, I told you I knew it. Sorry. Sometimes I just get so excited! Sometimes? Was the Holy Spirit's message about future fashion trends? It was that Paul and another follower of Jesus named Barnabas should go on a special mission. They were spies? A special mission, not a secret mission. You don't keep Jesus a secret. Their mission was an away game. They had to go to an island called Cyprus and tell everyone that Jesus had come to set people free from sin. They also took their helper named John Mark. They believed they'd find a lot of Jewish people who honored God, but needed to hear about Jesus. They also got a chance to meet with the government leader named Paulus, who was super curious about them. Getting a chance to tell the government leader about Jesus? That's, that's huge! There was one problem, though. They didn't have fancy enough clothes to meet him. The leader, Paulus, had an advisor, a Jewish magician named Elymas, who was a false prophet. Meaning... Back then, magicians lied to people by pretending they spoke for God. But God had made it clear that all that magic stuff was breaking the rules. Elymas knew if his boss listened to Paul and Barnabas, he would lose his job. So he told his boss not to listen to them. Not cool. So he like didn't want anyone to believe in Jesus? Which made Paul the perfect guy to talk to him. Before he knew Jesus, Saul didn't want people to believe in Jesus either. But now, using his Roman name, Paul, he was filled up with the Holy Spirit. Paul looked right at Elymas and told him, you are the enemy of everything that is right. Then Paul told Elymas that he was gonna go blind for a bit. <gasps> That's what happened to Saul. Exactly. Elymas became temporarily blind. It had to be led away. Oh. When the government leader Paulus saw what happened, he knew that the Holy Spirit was with Paul and Barnabas. He was ready to hear about Jesus. This whole thing was proof that nothing, no magic, no lies, no forces of evil, nothing is stronger than God's plans. God's plans. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to Paul and Barnabas. And he can send the Holy Spirit to us too. With the Holy Spirit, people can rise up to any challenge. Or face anything as they carry out their own mission from God to share his story with others. People can't do it alone. The Holy Spirit gives us power. It sounds like the Holy Spirit can help us do anything. The Holy Spirit is the presence of God. And God can do anything. So, yeah!